tunapeleke ni ni desemba 2020 sio 2020 sio tunapeleke tunafahamu kwa kweli tunapeleke gafu kwa sababu ya ugofu mkuu liko South Africa gafu naona kama jua limezama baharini gafu naweza tuweza kuchukua tena South Africa itakuwa na majanga ukiangalia wale ndege wanakuwa na tai wanaifa eh ndege mara na wale tai wa kula mizoko ukame huu na maafa kwa hivyo tunaweza kuongea South Africa kwa damu yetu sijui lakini twende na mfumo i'm talking to these guys damu mbaya ni msaliti kuna kitu ambacho Mungu anachukia kama msaidi. Mempatana mtu alafu na kuja mapata. Judas unakula meza ya Mwenyezi kwa gani? Na wewe unamegewa mkati unakula lakini shetani anaingia kwa badala ya uzima. Na mnyweso ndani ya Yesu na kunywa lakini bado na sabiti. Kenya ni viongozi mliopatana sasa mnaanza kusalitia. Mtakufa kama kuku. Naongea viongozi wa juu. Mnaitwa deep state eh. Mtakuwa deep sana. Kwa nini msaumie watu wetu wa Kenya? Na wakaishi maisha mazuri. Kwa nini dhuluma corruption injustice ujanja ujanja ya biashara ki siasa ya biashara kwa da akili na Mungu mtupa hiki huku mnajifanyisha kwa dini zenu zenu hizo bila utakatifu you can't make if you silence the church you make the hell to make god you go to hell ni sata time is so short you can change my brothers and sisters in Kenya leaders especially political leaders it is time you change you have made a lot of profit with your political businesses well our people suffer God is now judging the nation of Kenya. But it's not too late to confess when you confess your sin. The Lord forgives. And tell him to forget. He forgets too. Kenya is a wonderful nation. Tu janja janja damu nyingi kusalitiana betraying each other to never help you. God he is looking at Kenya my brothers and sisters who are preachers i see the false prophet taking control of Kenya because you preachers you become money launderers instead of gospelers so painful call me in any other name you can call but this is the truth i want my you preachers in care now we should sana na ubiri wa kenya lakini wachini kutengeneza kumpesa tu mnawaza pesa tu meacha ile nchi mekuwa na ujenje ujenje wa kusomi utasaidia nchi ya kenya yesu asipokaa katika nafasi yake zile bibili kwa nenda nazo shuleni zile ule ukweli mnadhi yake ya Mungu ya uchafu na yapokee Isaka 5:22 Msalawe 20:22 
Tumefanya kuwa alisia kweli. Kwa nini ni Amerika? Hichi kwa nini mchukue chanjo kama? Kwa nini mnakuza kitu kama corona? Say whatever you can say, say I cannot come to Kenya, but you'll die if you think I cannot come. I will come and preach this gospel. Nobody can stop me preaching this gospel. He is coming, the Lord is coming. You people, you are very intelligent. What is wrong with you? Your intelligence has overcome your spiritual help. Your spiritual intelligence has gone down. Why give the place to the devil? Salo kuna mbili. Ufunuishi na mbili. Tazama na jopesi. Na ujira wangu upamoja na kumlipa kila mtu kama kazi yake ilivi. Kama kazi yake ilivi. You can't escape this. Kama kazi yake ilivi. Mimi ni alfa na umeni mwanzo na mwisho wa kwanza na wa mwisho Heri wazifu wao kuosa wawe na amri kuenda huko mti wa uzima na kuingia mchini kwa milango yake kwa milango yake huko nje wakomboa na wachawi na wazinzi na wauaji na hawa budugo sanamu na kila mtapendaye uongo na kufanya mimi Yesu nimemtuma malaika wangu kuwashuhudia nini mambo hayo katika makanisa mimi ndimi niliyeshina na mzao wa Daudi ile nyote yenye kung'aa ya Yesu na roho na bibi ya Yesu wasema njoo naye sikiae na aseme njoo naye mwenye kiu na aje na yeye atakaye na yatoe maji ya uzima bora